Welcome to the Elementor Pro. My name's Jared. Today we're going to talk about building a landing page. We're going to walk through the process of building a landing page, but first let's define what a landing page is. So a landing page is typically a page on your website that you direct people to from an alternate source. So say for example you're running ads like on Google or social media and you want people to go to a specific page that speaks to them based on where they came from. So this would be a different page than a standard page on your website. A landing page is very specific and probably not a page that you want people to get to from within your website. So it's a page that exists within your website that isn't connected to your menu or anything like that. And so there's a few reasons that you would want to use a landing page. The first I already mentioned, which is so that if somebody comes from an ad or from something outside of your website, that you're directing them to your website and speaking to them in the way that you should be speaking to them based on where they came from. So if you have an auto repair shop and you are running an ad on air conditioning specials, you would want them to go on that landing page for air conditioning specials. You wouldn't want to confuse them with your services page that might have all of the other services that you provide. You would want it to be a specific page. Another reason that a landing page is good is because you can track the traffic that is specifically going to that page and see how it went. Uh, the performance on whatever ad or whatever it was that you were sending traffic to that landing page. So landing pages are really effective uh, and you can create landing pages really easily in Elementor. So we're going to go ahead and add a new page. I'm just going to call this um, uh, subscribe because I'm going to make a, uh, I can't talk and type at the same time today, I'm going to make a page for all of you to be able to come to and subscribe to a newsletter. And this newsletter that I'm hoping you'll subscribe to is a weekly update that includes the tutorials that we put out that week and any other Elementor resources that I think may uh, benefit you. And so if you subscribe, if you go to this page, which is actually going to be linked below, so after we get done building it, you can click through it and go look at it and then subscribe to the newsletter. That's what we're going to be building this landing page for. So uh, I'm just going to title it subscribe and underneath the template I'm going to choose the landing page which essentially is blank page. Uh, there, Depending on the theme that you're using or, or what you've got installed there may be some different options that are set in here but uh, I can either choose blank page or I could choose Elementor canvas or full width. Full width would give us our headers and our footers Canvas really is also like a landing page. That's probably the one that I should choose. I wasn't expecting all of these options in here, so it threw me off there for a second. So I'm going to choose Elementor Canvas and hit Publish. So we've got a page with the title of Subscribe. I could even call this Subscribe Landing Page because I'm not going to have um, the title uh, in. I'm not going to have the title there, so I could just hit Update. This will help me better understand what page this is and in, in, uh, in my list of pages. Um, if I don't want the URL to be subscribe landing page, I could change the permalink here to uh, just subscribe. You can see it kept the original one. So the address to this specific page would be the elementorpro.com slash subscribe. So now that we've got that set, we're going to hit edit with Elementor and what we should have is a blank canvas here with nothing. No header, no footer. So we could build out this page. So the first thing that I may want to do is add an image. People aren't going to know what page they're on if we don't have something like the logo or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and add a section to the top and I'm just going to go and grab uh, the image block. And so we'll throw the image block in there and then I need to select an image, so I need to upload an image. We'll go to Select Files, and I'm going to go navigate to where I have the Elementor logo. Now for best practices, I'm going to go ahead and title this image and add the alt text to it as well and hit Insert. Now this particular image is designed to be on a darker background, so I'm going to need to make this section uh, dark and it also is quite a large image. I don't want the image that large. So we're going to go back to the section. I'm going to change the background color of this section 
to kind of the darker gray. I don't remember the exact color, but to that darker gray. I also want to make sure that I have some padding, so I'm going to add a bit of padding to the top and the bottom of this logo so it's not so squished. I could even go smaller with this. Uh, obviously with the 300 size, it's a little bit large and so I can shrink down the size um, and maybe go with uh, a pixels instead and go with 150 is, is pretty good. I can go with 150 width. So now we've got the header of this landing page and uh, we've got the logo there, which is going to be uh, noticeable because they're going to be, everybody's going to be coming from the YouTube videos to this page. And so the EP logo is always already going to be familiar. And so now I can add a section below that. We'll add a heading. I'll center this. I'm not a fan of that default color, so I'll probably change that a bit. I'm going to add a little bit of spacing there from the top. So we'll change the, we'll click in here and change the color to the gray that everything else is, this header. I don't, I'll come and fine tune these colors later, but I'm gonna go with the same colors for text as that background in the header. Now we'll add in a little body of text here that we will center. All right, so because this is a landing page, I want things to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go with this heading. I'm going to make it a little bit larger than typical. So maybe go with 35 or 36, something like that. This text right here is a little small. So I'm going to go up probably to about 20 or so on that text. Um, now below this, I need a call to action. I need a form for somebody to fill out. And so I would build a form and I have a tutorial, a uh, separate tutorial video on how to build a form, how to use Elementor's form builder. So we're gonna go through this pretty quickly, uh, but if you want a more in-depth on how to set up a form, how to connect uh, the form to other services and stuff like that, then you're gonna wanna check out that tutorial video. So this form's a little wide, so I may go and shrink down the width of this form to something like 600 pixels. Now we'll go in and edit. Um, we're not going to have a message. This is just a subscribe form. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to type in first name and we're going to turn off labels. So first name and email is all that I need. I'm going to go and throw a small heading right above this. We want our gray color, which I'm not getting exact, but I'm getting close. We'll go with a smaller text because it's, I don't want it to be as big as the main section here. So subscribe now. We've got first name, email. I, I don't want it to say send, so I'm gonna change our button from send to, let's just say submit. So very simple so far. I might want to add a small message below this that says something like, you know, we respect your privacy, no spam, stuff like that. So uh, since that's kind of a disclaimer, I definitely want to make it smaller text. So I might go with like 10 pixels just to make it smaller. Um, so this is a really, really basic landing page. I could add more. I mean, it really depends on what you're trying to achieve with a landing page. If the landing page is kind of a sales page, then you obviously want to uh, let the person know why it is that they're there. You know, you were, you saw an ad or you clicked on an ad for a deal on your air conditioning being serviced. And so now you're here you can tell that you're on the page that has to do with the special for the air conditioning service. You've got a brief description of what the air conditioning service provides. You've got, uh, you know, the deal, whether it's like an image of a coupon or something like that, you've got the deal. And then you have a way for people to get that deal, whether it's filling out a form or it's calling a phone number or clicking a buy button to purchase now. Those are the types of things that you would want on this kind of page. So uh, so we've got that set up. This is really all we need for a simple page like this. And so since the address was the elementorpro.com slash subscribe, I should be able just to go to that. 
and we've got our very simple page here. Now, I may want to dress this up a little bit, but at the same time, it's a fairly simple page, and it's going to look good whether I'm on a tablet. So we look at it in tablet mode. We also took look at it in, um, in mobile just to make sure that everything looks good. And so this would be a clean and simple landing page that would be separate from the rest of my website. Notice there's no navigation menu. There's no footer buttons or anything like that. Somebody would simply come to this page and subscribe, and then it would take them to whatever it was uh, that was the next step. And you can do that with forms. So if we go back to the full view here, and then the, the action after uh, filling out this form, which would be called action after submit. Uh, so we collect the submissions, we email the submission to, to me, um, which we go over this process in the how to build a form video. So make sure to watch that. I'll make sure to link to it in the description below here. Um, but then I can also do something like a redirect and I can redirect people to a thank you page. I can redirect them back to my home page or something like that. Um, so, and then of course I can also connect it to additional services and we'll go over that stuff in the form video uh, because maybe your landing page doesn't call for a form so we're not going to go uh, crazy into detail there. But the process of creating a landing page is very simple. I prefaced why landing pages are important to use at the beginning of the video. So if you have any other questions about that or maybe like should I use a landing page for this, the comment section below this video would be a great place for that. Also, if you sign up for this subscription, you'll get an email from me right away. And if you reply to that email, it actually goes right to me. So you can send me an email directly and I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely manner uh, via email too, if you'd prefer to do that, not in the YouTube comments. So new videos three times a week. So subscribe to the channel here. Make sure to go to the link below that shows you the page that we just created. I may even have made a few tweaks to it before you have a chance to get to it. But signing up for this will get you a weekly email from me that includes the three tutorials that we covered that week and any other resources that I have that I find useful that I think will help you become an Elementor Pro or be on your road to becoming an Elementor Pro. So this email will be a great resource for you to receive once a week. And just as I typed at the bottom of this uh, landing page, I'm not, you know, this is just for this. No spam, no nothing else. I don't take the trust lightly that you put in me by sharing your email address, so I appreciate that. But that's going to do it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we put out new videos. Uh, on top of that, subscribe to the email newsletter so you get them in your email, and it's a good reminder to go and check out those videos and, and, and watch them. Thanks for that. I hope that you have a great week, and I hope to see you back in the next video soon. Take care.